and no Chinese submarines coming and docking no, here? No, 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 certainly not. Chinese submarines, this was one of the problems that was there during the last elections. The Chinese, it's like the, what you call the pink submarine, <laughs> you know, it has created so many myths about it. One thing we can say, irrespective of what the government is, Sri Lanka will protect its sovereignty. The fact that we have borrowed from China does not mean that we subscribe to their strategic interests. Right, from India's perspective, uh, the beginning of the rift was, uh, uh, or initial signs that we saw also was with regards to the policies of, uh, of uh, President Sirisena and Prime Minister Ranul Vikramasinghe and how they approached various projects. One such project was the East Coast uh, term, the, the, the East Terminal, East terminal and, uh, which uh, Ranul Vikramasinghe was handing over to India. Uh, Sirisena wanted that Lanka uh, do the work um, all by themselves. Where does the project stand now? Will India get the project no, or I not? Will, I will tell you exactly <laughs> what the position is. The port of Colombo is very vital for Sri Lanka because it's a transshipment port and most of the traffic goes to India. India is also developing its own ports. So we have to take a futuristic view of how we develop. Sri Lanka needs to develop this port. Already three parts of it are developed. Okay? Now the East Terminal is very crucial because that is the real deep water port. We all agree, President has clearly said, and he has intimated that to Mr. Modi himself, that the West can certainly be developed by the West port can be developed by India. There needs to be continuum when it comes to foreign policy. International community, India, very concerned with the political crisis. Have they reached out to you and what is the message or assurance that you've given? Well, Sri Lanka is a small country, very close physically to Sri Lanka. But not only physically, Sri Lanka and India have been the best of friends almost from time immemorial. After all, the majority of Sri Lankans are Buddhists. And as a former president of Sri Lanka mentioned, we are followers of the Buddha and lovers of India. He, he summarized our relationship in that manner. So Sri Lanka has always foreign policy or good neighbor policy, whatever you call it, we have to have a primary and a good relationship with India. That is a policy that will be followed by every government in Sri Lanka. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.